the astounding thing is that Stephen Hawking was given two years to live, um, age 21, and he's now 71, 72. Um, I mean, it's against all odds, uh, and it's a staggering thing. And whether it is to do with his passion, his drive, his outlook on life, his humour, the specific strain of what the disease is, no one knows, but it's a, a staggering thing, and he is a great, great icon of hope. The process for me started with going, okay, how am I going to go about this? How am I going to even begin to understand this? Um, not only in what it is, what the illness is, what the science is, but also how to, to take that, the emotion, and all the physicality and all that, and place it in in me or find a place for it in me so I went about it by hiring a, a sensational team um, a, a wonderful makeup artist called Jan Sewell um, and extraordinary costumier and a vocal coach um, and probably most importantly a movement coach a choreographer I worked with a woman called Alex Reynolds and about three months before we started filming, she and I got in touch with a woman called Dr. Kate Seidel, who was a, a motor neuron specialist. And with her assistant, her uh, nurse, da uh, Jan Clark, we went to motor neuron clinics and we met maybe 30 or 40 uh, people suffering from motor neuron disease and watched and learned and saw all the manifestations of it. His relationship with the voice, I mean, the voice itself, it, it had never occurred to me when I got this part, why has Stephen Hawking got an American voice? And the answer was, that was the first technology that came. And because his voice then became so related to, or his, his icon became so related to that voice, he's never wanted to change it because that's what we know as his new, his new identity and vocal identity, and my God, is identity important? He comes from a, a documentary background um, he, we, Felicity and I found ways of, you know, it was very free, very open. Benoit, the extraordinary DP who, who James worked with, James really encouraged as a quartet this sort of massive collaboration and us discussing always being open. Um, and, and it was wonderful. As I said, it's in our world, people talk about collaboration, but film sets are fundamentally hierarchical and yet James managed to make it an incredibly collaborative experience. I hope that, I feel like an audience coming to see A Theory of Everything, we all have a sense of Stephen Hawking, the icon. We know what his image is, what his look is. Um, I hope that this film will surprise people in the way that when I read it, it surprised me about his character, about his life, about his family, about this extraordinary woman that was the fuel behind a lot of his success. And I hope that you see sides of his personality that, I mean, his humor, his wit, his complications, his stubbornness, his, you know, all these things that make someone live a full life. And my God, Stephen Hawking, age 21, was given two years to live. My God, has he lived a full life um, and continues to. So I hope it will be a story that's as inspiring to audiences to watch as it was for me to play.